Well, a new season of high school football and Friday night flights is finally here. Week one of the season always brings some great games that cross state lines, but one school in Oregon says it has no choice. It's going to be playing most of its games against Washington teams come next year. Art Edwards now explains why. Hermiston, Oregon, a town of 17,000 people along the Oregon-Washington border. It's been a fast-growing city in that corner of the state with a booming high school population to match. Next fall, we're looking at probably, I, I would imagine, probably close to 1,700 students. Located along I-84, heading to Portland, and I-82 running into eastern Washington, school leaders say distribution centers for both Walmart and FedEx have helped grow the population. It's also led to a big problem. Uh, one of the few schools in that region, in fact, pretty much the only school in that region that's growing, especially at the pace they are. The Oregon School Athletics Association does a reclassification every four years, making sure to keep the competition level even with schools of similar sizes going head to head. Hermiston size pushed it up to 6A, Oregon's top class. But the closest 6A schools are here in the metro area, a four hour drive away. Some of the OSAA's early plans call for Hermiston to join the Mount Hood Conference, playing schools like Gresham and Central Catholic every week. For conference play alone, with all of our, all of our athletics and activities, we'd be looking at just over 90 trips to Portland if we were in that league, over 36,000 miles round trip and travel in one season alone. Making it extremely difficult for parents and friends to make those road games. Even worse, athletic director Larry Usher says a three-sport athlete would lose as many as 40 days of school a year. So he reached out to schools up I-82 in the Tri-Cities, just a half hour north of Hermiston. Certainly anytime you have a school from your association that's requesting to leave and go to another state, um, you know, certainly something you want to take seriously uh, and look through what the options are and what makes the most sense, both for that school and the remaining schools that are uh, you know, left behind. Eventually, the OSAA gave the move their blessing. So starting in 2018, Hermiston joins Washington's Mid-Columbia Conference, and they believe it will be a home for a long time. There's no schools in Eastern Oregon that are anywhere near our size, and they're not going to be any time in the foreseeable future, and we're going to continue to grow. Art tells us a move like this is not common, but it has happened before in California and Nevada. Athletic officials in Oregon and in Washington tell us they will only take on any more moves like this on a case-by-case -case basis.